Speaking of which, Bruce Anderson um, wrote to me to ask me, what's going on with this Zeke guy? Excuse me a moment. And I answered his question. And here is how he presented it in the Anderson Valley Advertiser. The outrage provoked by a guy named Zeke Kralin on the MCN chat line, he means the MCN announced listserv, has a bunch of libs, of course, demanding that he be banned. I find the guy pretty tiresome myself, but scroll right on past him, as I'm sure many people also do. So what's the problem? Why should he be totally non-person simply because he upset some people? But over the long years in Mendocino County, and often non-personed myself by this or that liberal or liberal institution, and having read many letters to the Ukiah Daily Journal from Inland Lib demanding an end to Tommy Wayne Kramer's consistently brilliant Sunday columns, I wanted to find out who exactly this Kralin guy is, and who better to turn to than Marco McLean, banned for 30 years by KZYX. Marco, take it away. And here he switched over to what I wrote. Um, Ezekiel Kralin lives in San Francisco. He's in his late 60s with poor health, bad teeth, and no way to pay to fix them properly, with a true sympathetic Kafkaesque misery story about how and why he can't get proper assistance from, or for, rather, the dental adventure. He came from New Jersey. His voice is indistinguishable from Virg Belanger's voice. He's a writer, a gay activist, In the 1980s, he worked in the computer industry. He helps homeless people by fixing broken, discarded phones and just passing them out for music players and recorders and cameras. He maintains websites where he presents his written work, some of it's autobiographical, some autobiography mixed with fantasy, some religious science fiction private detective noir. He's very prolific. Some of it's pretty good. He's published a book. He used to call me on the air at KNYO and read aloud his latest story and then chat for a while. One time he called when I was in the middle of reading a story by the major, and I made the mistake of going to the call and finishing the story half an hour later, and that miffed the major, meaning um, Mark Scaramella, who with Bruce Anderson produces the Anderson Valley Advertiser, that major. And I'm sorry about that, so now I usually tell callers to wait a minute until I finish a story. Zeke doesn't call anymore, and I'm not sure why, except that I'm not a very good interviewer. I tend to interrupt with goofy non-sequiturs, and that might be off-putting. I'm trying to be better, but not trying very hard. Ezekiel has a history of joining Internet chat groups and deluging them with his thoughts and opinions and links to informative articles that illustrate his ideas, many posts per day or night. and That's got him kicked out of several groups that have someone moderating, he would say censoring, and he has a point there. Eventually, he found the MCN announced listserv and the MCN discussion listserv, neither of which have restrictions, and he started in answering with sweary comical rebuttals other people's advertisements for psychic massage or Jesus cream or their comments he finds hateful of gay people or their anti-vax crap or whatever. Readers who don't like it can easily block him and never see anything he writes, But generally, they don't do that and call it done, because they don't just want to be shot of him. They want him to reach nobody else, because they see him as a spoiler ruining their nice thing for everybody, and everything about the situation pisses them off, so they can't let it go. In other words, they don't just want him out of their inbox. That wouldn't be enough for them. They want to win and for him to lose. They want him to fuck off and die, so they engage with him over and over to tell him so, and they post messages to him and to everyone else on the group to vent their impotent fury at him. Some in the announce list serve have started a private group among themselves to brainstorm a way to make the world clean of Zeke again, and every once in a while something from that group leaks out, and, you know, it's funny and stupid. They've written and phoned MCN to demand that Sage reach in and stop anyone they don't like, meaning Zeke, from using any of the public list serves, and Sage tells them, that's not right, of course he's not going to do that, and Sage gives them instructions all over again to just block who and what they don't like, and they harumph and go sit back down on their thumbs and stew for a while. 
So that's all been going on for a couple of years now. The latest development is an anonymous coward sneak uh, has been creating and using rotating careless eyeball similar email addresses to Zeke's to post many messages a day to these groups pretending to be Zeke to humiliate him, it looks like, or teach him a lesson. Who knows? It might be a group project of the hate Zeke crowd. And to people who can't or don't care to tell the difference, this is just all Zeke's doing. And the shouters are shouting ever louder to burn the witch. Here's the short and easy solution available to all. One, make a folder in your email program. And whenever anything appears that offends your nose or that you're just not smart enough to see the fun in, take five seconds and add the offending address or key content to the filter that sends it there. If you don't know how to do that, Google for instructions. Two, and or mark email as junk with a single click if your email program gives you that option. And it will gradually learn the general sort of thing to not bug you with. I've posted variations on that once every four or five months. The result always is I get a bunch of emails telling me that I just don't understand, that Zeke is a menace and a monster and something must be done because he's an asshole and he's stinking up a place he has no business being at all and this is a public problem so there isn't any private solution and we all have to get together and get rid of this pestilence and perfidy. And I read those emails on the air between articles about nuclear war and ocean acidification and the latest advances in Alzheimer's research and quantum computing and space technology and a seven-year-old Vietnamese girl who can play creep on a lute that her blind stepfather made out of matchsticks and Elmer's glue. And you know what? I have that. Hold on just a second. 